Apple and custard tart, a great weekend recipe to tackle. This consists of apples that have been steamed and then I'm going to bake it with phyllo pastry and a very quick custard. So for the apples, I like to use Granny Smith apples and I've just peeled them, quartered them and what I've done is just placed them in a little bit of acidulated water with a little bit of lemon. That just ensures they stay nice and bright. So to steam them, I'm going to be using the air fryer. My air fryer not only bakes and air fries, it also steamed, which is a fantastic versatile function. So we're just going to open that and straight into the basket we'll add the apples. So I'll just steam them until they're quite tender. Okay. So we place that onto the steamer function and then we'll get that going. While that's cooking, let's make the custard. You'll need two whole eggs, two egg yolks. To this I'll add three quarters of a cup of caster sugar along with a pinch of cinnamon or classic flavours with apple and I love lemon zest, so the zest of about half a lemon. Just use a fine grater for this, makes it much easier to distribute the flavour of the lemon. Great, just grab a whisk and incorporate that sugar with the eggs until all of the eggs and sugar have dissolved into each other. You don't need to whisk until it's really fluffy and thick. It's just a really fast custard, just like that. To that, I'll add 300 mils of thickened cream. And as I whisk, I'll incorporate all of that cream. That's how easy the custard is to make. So we'll pop that to one side while we prepare the phyllo pastry. So I always like to just wrap my phyllo pastry in a clean, damp tea towel. By doing this, we're just ensuring it doesn't dry out. We want it to be really pliable, so no dry phyllo. We'll just start with one piece of phyllo and we'll move the rest to the side. And we want the long part facing you. I'll add some butter, so just brush that butter straight onto the phyllo, making sure it's quite even. Just have that melted butter ready to go. If you want, you can use oil, but I find the flavour of the butter is much better. Another piece of phyllo, and we're just going to sandwich that together, straight on top. And some more butter. And now this is where it looks quite unusual, but it works a treat. We want to scrunch this phyllo up. So just working from the base and up, we're just going to crinkle and scrunch it just like that. So we've got one long length. And the beauty of phyllo pastry is it's going to go crispy as it bakes in the air fryer. So the rougher it is, the crispier it's going to become. Now I want to form a rose shape or a snail. So we're just going to carefully roll that together nice and tight. And that's our first little rose. That now goes into a 20 centimetre baking dish. You want it to be 20 centimetres so it fits just perfectly into the air fryer. I'm going to brush that with some butter all around the sides and then in with our first rose. So now I'm going to repeat the process with the phyllo pastry, but instead of making it into a rose, I'm going to wrap it around that centre row so it completely fills up the tray. have been steamed and they've cooled down. You can see our phyllo pastry snail or rose is formed. Isn't it beautiful? And now we can bring the whole thing together. So in here, I just want to add some of the apples. So they're really soft and we're just going to place them in and around the phyllo rose. So pop some in the centre, on the sides. So when everyone gets a little slice of this, you get a little of the apple. So yummy. Now you can change this. If you didn't want to use apple, pear works a treat. You could use some berries, even some peaches work nicely, or 
as the list goes on, cherries. When cherries are in season, I love to change up the fruit for this. So you won't need to use all of the apple, just as long as it's evenly distributed between the layers, just like that. You'll probably afford to put one more piece right there. Apples and raisins go together. So I've just got some raisins here that I've soaked in some warm water and we're just going to scatter them over the top, spread them out evenly and the custard can now go in. So what I like to do is just place the custard into a jug. It just makes it so much easier to transfer from this to our tray. And we'll very carefully pull that custard in and just slowly, slowly allow it to absorb and just treacle into the base of that pan. So just even if you have to move it around, pouring in. Now, once that's completely coated, it can go back into the air fryer. And there's a few functions on the air fryer. One of them is baking. So we'll just pop that in. That cooks at 180 degrees and it'll cook till it's golden brown. So carefully transfer it over. In it goes and away it bakes. All right, let's have a look. Oh, I am so happy with the results. See how golden and crisp it is? Just perfect. So we'll just take this out of the basket and you want to be slightly patient here. Let it cool so it's still warm, but just at least five minutes before cutting into it. A little light dusting of icing sugar and dessert is done. To think that we steamed the apples in the air fryer, baked in the air fryer, and that baked only for 10 minutes. Look at the results. That served with a scoop of ice cream. Mm -mm -mm. The perfect Sunday dessert.